Paros, the Greek island that has it all. Nestled in the heart of the Aegean Sea, Paros offers a captivating blend of beauty and adventure. Join us as we discover the perfect blend of price, day excursions, picturesque towns, beaches, and nightlife. Paros is really the island that has it all. We are in Paros, Greece, and after being here for a little bit, we can confidently say that this island has it all. Let's talk about affordability. This area definitely reminds us of Mykonos, but it just seems way more chill and cheaper. When we went to Mykonos, the cheapest accommodations we can get it was over $100. Our Airbnb here <laughs> is 45 bucks, and it's more spacious and just as good. Might not be as fancy, but man, for the price, we're not complaining. The Airbnb that we rented is actually right in the center of town. Super affordable. This island is awesome. 45 bucks. If I have to describe Paros, just first impressions, it's a calmer, more beautiful area than Mykonos. Let's talk about the picturesque towns. First stop, Parikia. Walking the streets of the capital town of Parikia, um, it's such a picturesque little area. Um, we suggest to just kind of walk around and get lost in here. So cute and picturesque. It's so ideal. When you think about the Greek islands, this is kind of what you think about, right? This town is filled with beautiful little corners, just like this one, with these beautiful red flowers. So walking around, just finding little cool photo spots is what this place is all about. This place is full of really cute alleyways. And just FYI, this is the island that the Greeks love to vacation in. For everyone at home that's thinking about coming to Greece, this is the island to come to. Next stop, Nausa. Nausa, a charming fishing village on the northern coast of the island. The town's picturesque harbor was filled with colorful fishing boats and surrounded by traditional Greek architecture. It may look like a small quiet town, but at sunset, it really comes alive with bustling restaurants and bars. This is the spot to be in. More on that later. The Greek islands are filled with beautiful Greek Orthodox churches, and Paros is not an exception. Next to Monastery Beach, you'll find a traditional Greek Orthodox church. Stop here and admire the view as well as the church's architecture. In every Greek island, ATV is always the budget friendly way to get around, so let's ride. Get in. Everyone has been telling us go to go to the town of Lesques. We'll show you why everybody has been raving about this one town. A short 15 minute drive from Nausa, you'll find nestled atop of a hill, the village of Lesques. The village used to be the capital of Paros, and it's known for its breathtaking panoramic views that showcase the raw natural beauty of the island. Don't underestimate this town. The streets were calm and picturesque. We strolled through the quiet streets for an hour or so, mostly stopping to take pictures and live in the moment. We stumbled upon a charming snug cafe where we settled comfortably and indulged in a local favorite, a Greek frappe. It stands apart from the other tourist-oriented port towns in Paros, boasting a unique character that entices visitors with its intrigue. A visit to this particular town offers a delightful opportunity to catch a glimpse of the authentic local life and fully immerse yourself in the atmosphere of a genuine Greek village. Left guess is 1,000% a must here in Paros. Have we mentioned how much more affordable this is than Mykonos and Santorini? A coffee was half the price here than it is in Mykonos and Santorini, so this is the Everything spot. is basically half off. Picturesque towns, check. Now that the weather's cleared up a little bit, we're heading to the beaches. Everyone's favorite topic, the beaches. Paros is known for its stunning beaches, and we couldn't wait to dip our toes in the crystal clear turquoise waters. First, we visited Monastery Beach, a paradise for anyone who's looking to just chill and relax on the beach. Basically, it's the ideal beach for all you beach bums out there. This place is so awesome. They have sun beds, they have umbrellas, beach chairs, you name it. You can honestly come here and spend the day, which is what an ideal Greek summer is all about. And next, we ventured to Kolombitres Beach, famous for its unique rock formation sculpted by the wind and sea. We found a cozy spot, basked in the sun, and enjoyed the breathtaking views. From this viewpoint, we could see the picturesque town of Nausa from the beach. Looking for adventure? Let's check out some day trips. We're always feeling adventurous, so if you're anything like us, you'll love taking a day trip over to the island of Antipados. We hopped on a short ferry ride, 
Literally, it was only seven minutes and arrived at this charming, unspoiled Greek paradise. The moment we set foot on the island, we were greeted by pristine sandy beaches and crystal clear waters. We didn't know it at the time, but tucked away from the popular Soros beach was a beautiful secluded beach waiting to be discovered. And like Daniel always tells me, the best beaches are the ones that are really hard to get to. If you're adventurous like us, here's where this secluded beach is. I'm glad he gets me out of my comfort zone. Check out this drone shot. As we stepped onto the sand, we were greeted by the warm embrace of the sun. The water was every shade of turquoise, so we grabbed our snorkel gear and jumped in to explore the underwater world. The beach offered so much more than just snorkeling though. We discovered the most unique rock formations and couldn't resist exploring. It was hard not to be amazed by nature's artistry in Antipados. Antipados is a must. This is beautiful, oh my God. On our way to the port, we stopped at this really beautiful beach bar called Fanati Beach. It had a really chic, laid-back atmosphere. The decor was so bohemian and trendy, we loved the whole vibe there. This is one of our biggest recommendations for you guys at home. For you party animals, let's talk about nightlife. Let's walk around the town of Nausa. We what's up. It's an hour before sunset and this place is bumping. Let's talk about one of the best places in Paros for nightlife and relaxing vibes. The nightlife in the charming town of Nausa is nothing short of awe-inspiring. As the sun sets over the sparkling Aegean Sea, Nausa awakens with an irresistible energy. Trendy bars and chic lounges spill out into the picturesque cobblestone lake. It's the perfect place to immerse yourself in this captivating town and indulge in the liveliness that makes Nausa a perfect place to have a fantastic time. It's a cool spot, right? Yes. Our time in Paros has been nothing short of incredible. We've fallen in love with the island's natural beauty, its warm and welcoming people, and its picturesque towns. From the charming villages to the pristine beaches, Paros has stolen our hearts, and it's truly the island that has it all. What do you think about Paros? Has it all. By the way, we're so bad at this. Let's show you around the Airbnb. It has the hardest door to open, actually. Yeah, no, I don't. Hold on. Daniel, once we got off the ATV, he told me my eye was watering so much I couldn't see through one eye. So he was literally driving like this. As always, thank you so much for watching.